Okay, so um, I'm lucky enough to be here uh, in Paris with um, a member of uh, Coupe de France, uh, the 2016 and 2014 um, uh, uh, set. This is uh, Hooligan. So can you introduce yourself? So my name is Hooligan. I'm a player for the Paris Roller Girls and I also play on Team France. And this is the second time I make it to Team France. Okay. So um, I guess we should start from the beginning then. So you made it on to the 2014 Team France and of course Team France did pretty well actually. You only just missed out getting into the, um, the top eight. Um, yes. But you were, had the closest loss of any team that missed out against Argentina. Uh, so, I mean, how, how was that as an experience, your first international experience? Um, it was a great experience, obviously, to play at the best level. And I guess we were lucky to have this game against Argentina because people said it was one of the most interesting games in the sense that the scores were pretty close. It was quite a close game. And obviously we were very disappointed about the loss, but uh, we'll do our best to do better next time. Yeah, I mean, um, so on the blog we did a, a constructed ranking of, because they didn't rank most of the teams, okay. of course, probably. And we, we, we put you provisionally eighth, ninth, so we think you probably were just about top eight and you were just unlucky. So who knows what will happen this time. So, of course, you applied again and you you joined the team this time as well. And the team has quite a lot of um, Paris Roller Girls in it. I mean, it has a lot of Paris and Toulouse. Um, yes, it's about 10 girls from Paris, 10 girls from Toulouse, and then girls from Lille, um, and then from other leagues in mm. France, Amiens, and one from Nantes. But I mean, it's all French this time, I think, because last time I think there might have been a single person who wasn't from the French League, but this, it's definitely all French this time, I think. Um, yes, well, two players are playing abroad, mm. and these are Meryl uh, Stripper uh, from Philadelphia ah. and uh, a girl from Montreal. Um, why so serious? Yeah. Okay, so um, have you had a chance to practice together, I mean, as a set, given yes, that you have... Yes, quite a few chances, in fact. Uh, we've been practicing every time we had bank holidays. We'd take advantage of this time to practice for a few days' time. So we've had uh, three-day trainings or four-day tra uh, four trainings. So I guess we practiced together um, four or five times already. Yeah. And um, obviously, you've, and you've already, of course, been dis on display on a public, in public bouts as well, because you are one of the teams that attended the European Roller Derby tournament not that long ago and triumphed quite convincingly, in fact. Um, so, I mean, was, was that always your aim going in? Did you expect to do as um, well as you did? or? I think we were, yes. We had been training for this, and, and that was the objective that we had set. We wanted to win the tournament. And, um, uh, and yeah, this was our first uh, tournament as a team, and we were quite happy of the result that we got. And um, of course, that set you up now for being a, an, again for the upcoming tournament this weekend yeah. in Wales, uh, the Road to TBC, because we don't know where the tournament's going to be yet. Um, um, and um, the tournament's been constructed deliberately, I am told, so that people who went to the European World Derby tournament don't face the same people they faced there. Yes. So you are facing entirely different um, people. You're facing uh, Sweden and well, Scotland and um, two others that I forget. So we're not sure about facing Sweden, that depends mm -hmm. on... Oh yes, well you may yeah. face Sweden because exactly. Sweden... Um, well, we, we're hoping that could be the final game, mm -hmm. if we're doing really well. Um, but before this, we'll be playing uh, Team Spain, Team Scotland, and... Um, and one more West there. Indies, I think. Is it West yeah, Indies? Really West Indies yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, so West Indies are an interesting team because, of course, a lot of them are from, from UK teams that, of course, because of the connection between the UK and with the West Indies. Um, so, I mean, out of those teams, the only one you saw on track really before has been Spain, because yes. they were also at the European tournament. So is, are there any particular teams you're looking forward to playing or uh, worried we're about? We're looking forward to playing Team Scotland, because that's a, a team that we don't know very much. And they've been doing quite well at the last World Cup, so we're hoping that will be an interesting game. Yeah. Okay. And then 
Um, we happened to have a game with the Paris Follow Girls last weekend, and that was in Birmingham. We played mm -hmm. Central City, mm -hmm. and I think one player from Team West Indies was uh, in the audience. Um, Name is Vi uh, Violet Attack. Yes, Violet Attack was there. I think she was scouting you guys. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right. uh, but yes, so um, as you said, hopefully, I mean, it's, it seems, given your strength in the RDT, that you'll probably make it to the final. And if you do, the most likely team you'll face, I think, is probably Sweden, yeah. if they're anything like they were last in 2014. I um, mean, Stockholm are very strong, and, mm -hmm. and so are Crime City. So. Yes, that would be quite a, quite, uh, quite a challenge, sorry. So we're, we're hoping we'll play them in the final game. Yeah. And, but um, then it's a tournament, so you never know what to expect. And each game is going to be very important if we want to make it to the finals. So we'll keep that in mind. Yeah. And so, of course, after with TBC, there was, of course, the TBC, the tournament itself, the, yeah. the big World Cup, um, which, well, we don't know where it's going to be yet. Um, yeah. Uh, do you have any? Do you do you have any preferences for where you'd like it to be? Even regions? Uh, of course, I'm hoping it will be in Europe, and um, I hope it won't be too far away. Too far away because um, I'm a I'm a teacher, so in real life I'm a teacher, and I can't get days off um, that easily. So every time I have to ask for days off, and then I have to teach some other times, you know, and get organized to play abroad, so I'm hoping it won't be too far away. And obviously if it's in Australia or in the US again, that might be a problem for some girls. Yeah. And Even uh, financially, that will represent um, a lot more than uh, a tournament in Europe. And yeah. um, of course there are, there are also several new teams that we already know about. There's a Team Korea, which looks terrifying. Okay. <laughs> uh, have you seen the Team Korea roster? Um, well, I've seen a post about it, but I haven't really checked it. The, um, the roster... Like? Okay, imagine all of the Korean-Americans you know, like Shortstop from okay. Gotham. Imagine yeah. they all got together and made a team. That's what it looks like. All right. So Team Korea are going to be terrifying. Yeah. Uh, there's, also, there's also Team Russia we know about, and of course, Rolly Derby Iceland are going to be turning up as Team Iceland, mm -hmm. um, just changing their name a bit. Uh, I mean, um, I mean this is th how do you feel about how big this tournament is going to be and how much it's, it's you know, extending outside of even of Europe now to... Um, well obviously I'm very excited about this uh, next World Cup. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. And um, I guess right now... So, um, and of course, obviously, after this time, of course, after the World Cup, you came back and tried out again. So, what, so after this 2016 World Cup, do you have thoughts already about um, what's, uh, what's next? Mm, I'm not too sure. I think about it sometimes, and sometimes I think, well, I've been playing roller derby for about five, six years, and sometimes I'm getting tired of it, and sometimes I'm not, so it depends, I guess. It will depend on my state of mind after the World Cup. Um, but maybe I will just feel like moving on to something new, something different, and maybe dedicate more time to other hobbies or work, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes, and um, and I think a few girls who are on the team at the moment might be thinking about this, might be thinking of the idea of retiring at some mm -hmm. point, um, and and for now we don't know when the next World Cup will be. We don't know where it will be, so we can't make any plans really. Okay, so uh, thank you very much, and Thanks. good luck in um, in Wales. Thank you. Cheers.